Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata, the way that it was meant to be listened to through a PC speaker. This is Thexter from 1987, from Game Arts, published by Sierra. Thexter is my favorite side-scroller of all time. It's not really a platformer, and overall platformers are not my favorite genre. I'm usually awful at them because I can never jump at the right time. But Thexter doesn't really rely on jumping, which you'll see shortly. He has a hidden secret, and that secret is that he watches the GoBots. Or Transformers. He transforms from a robot into a jet. So he's really very similar to a Veritech fighter. Or Jetfire. Uh, the original Jetfire. This is the PC version of Thexter, the version that I had when I was a kid, and I believe this is on the NES, or at least the Japanese NES. And that version was published by Squaresoft. Let's watch a wall of enemies fall on Thexter, one of my favorite parts of this game. TRANSFORM! Why is this series not still being released today? That was relatively easy, I took them out with my auto fire. You do not aim your laser, Thexter aims it for you. Which is both a plus and a minus in this game. Because that energy bar is your life bar. If that runs out, you're doomed. Every time you shoot, you're using energy, and using your shield, uses 10 points of energy, or 10%. Thexter excels on many levels. It's not just a side-scrolling action game. It's a strategy game. You have to choose your shots carefully. There's energy power-ups hidden all over the place. So becoming familiar with the boards is essential. And I've been meaning to play Thexter and review it since the show started. It just took me a while to finally sit down and get back into it. And I forgot how difficult this game is. It's not the most exciting game visually, although Thexter himself looks awesome. The backgrounds have little variation in them. But the gameplay challenge and replay value of Thexter is superb. This game is screaming to be remade. I think that a, that a remake of Thexter that's similar to the Bionic Commando two-dimensional remake that Capcom released for Xbox Live and PlayStation would fit Thexter very well because you don't want to make this a 3D game. Just update it visually, re-release it on the new game systems, and let the world experience Thexter again. Who owns the rights to this? Get on it! I found some hidden energy and you can see that my maximum energy on the bottom right is going up if I wasn't stupid and con continuously being being hit by enemies, I'd actually have more energy. But my gameplay is really sloppy in this review. When you play the game more, you get very familiar with the levels quickly and how to fly through them without getting getting uh, slaughtered. You definitely don't want to let enemies land on you. That's the that's the biggest no-no. Or or stand on them. Thexter's feet are very sensitive. There's 15 levels in Thexter, and to maximize your gameplay, you really need to explore each level and find all of the hidden energy and all the uh, energy power-ups. Which I haven't done very well here, so I'm going to run out of energy, and let's watch what happens to poor, sensitive feet Thexter. Here's the box for Thexter, one of the greatest packages ever created. Just look how cool he is. This is the IBM Tandy and MS-DOS compatible five and a quarter inch floppy disk version of Thexter. Two disks. I'm going to try a different approach to level two here. Since Thexter is basically a DOS game, it's not compatible with my sound card. So the sound is literally just coming out of the internal PC speaker. I'm recording it with a microphone. And I can't output the video like I can with my other standard PC reviews. So I'm filming it with a camera. A lot of people ask me why I don't use fraps. It's because of drive space. My editing machines have enormous hard drives, so I must rely on them and I export my video through component HD cables. Just like an Xbox or a PS3 game. Unless it's an Atari 2600 review, in which case I export the video using magic. 
Damn it. I, I, back in the day, I had all these tricks to get away from those guys. I'm playing with the keyboard, so I'm just really out of practice. My Thexter game is whack. If I didn't play 10 or 15 games a week, I would probably spend a good chunk of my time playing Thexter or Herzog's Y. Both of which have awesome transformable robots. There is some variety in the levels as you progress through the game, but for the most part it does look very similar. And I like the visual style, it just would be really cool if there was some background detail. Thexter can't hover, so shooting things with the airplane configuration is extremely challenging because it does not have the auto-targeting system. And there is no half airplane, half robot battleoid mode. If you want that, you've got to go find a Robotech game. The original old-school Thexter that you see here can be easily found online these days for the best price of all. Just use your imagination. They really need to remake this game. And frankly, I don't even care if they update the visuals, just redo the sound. Note that it can't play music and sound effects at the same time. Thexter must have an 8-track. 